If you're like many of us, you've seen a lot of conflicting information in the uh, news lately, and you're probably wondering, when is the economy going to recover? Hi, I'm Nick with the Unity Realty Group. Just want to give you a real quick economic update and also cover a little bit of uh, some jobs numbers on the report that came out on the 8th. So let's hop into where we're at. So uh, I know most of you are thinking, you know, when are we going to recover? And that's a great question, uh, especially now with the unemployment numbers that we're looking at. So again, realize uh, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, uh, Morgan Stanley, Wells Fargo, these four institutions control a significant amount uh, of money here in the United States. Basically, they're still calling for a V-shaped recovery. Uh, I know there's been a lot of talk lately about, you know, is it a U? Is it a W? Is it all these other types of things, right? And these people are just using these different um, kind of, you know, acronym or letter things to basically put an easy name on there for you to understand it. Realize there are 18,650 economists in the United States right now, and all of them have an opinion, uh, and they are just that. I don't really think that we're in a U-shaped recovery, only because uh, a U-shape would indicate that the first half was a gradual shutdown, and we didn't have that. We slammed the brakes on things. So we definitely know the first part of it looks like a V. It's what the, the next part's going to look like, but still, uh, you know, people that are a lot smarter than me are still calling for a V-shaped recovery. We do have a significant piece of information here that just came out. Basically, Q1 GDP came out at negative 4.8%. I think that was expected uh, with what had actually happened, okay? And just realize there's a couple of different things. Once we do start to put the pieces back together, different states are starting to open. Here in California, we're already starting to open up some other uh, quote unquote non-essential businesses in different ways. But, you know, there's obviously the business science and how the economy is going to recover, uh, especially if people have been decimated in their small business and just simply cannot reopen. Uh, there's also the health science to consider. And basically, you know, you know, is the virus going to mutate? Or are we getting, you know, are we getting our hands around that uh, with, with a vaccine and things like that? But also realize a significant portion that not a lot of people are talking about is the actual social science of this. You know, basically, even if we're given the all clear, you know, there's going to be some people that are going to rush right back in uh, business as usual and, and get back to normal. However, there's also probably going to be uh, a significant part of the population that has a more metered response to that news of being opened back up. They may not come back in the same ways. They may not go to a movie theater. They may not go to a restaurant. So we'll just have to see how that stuff kind of kind of plays out. Uh, but I definitely do think that, you know, we're probably going to start to see the recovery here in the second half of, of 2020. Uh, you know, things are already starting to indicate that, you know, uh, some states are obviously a, a little bit further along than others, which is good news. Uh, but I know that, you know, the, the real big elephant in the room, obviously, is uh, what about all this unemployment? We did just get our recent unemployment uh, finally here on May 8th. And what I want you to realize, too, is that, you know, kind of some good news. We saw here the end of March, end of April, things have started to spike in the weekly number of filings. But if you look at the trajectory, you know, we're, we're on the downward slope of this thing as we come in to the end, uh, uh, you know, or the beginning of this month, uh, which is good news. So also to breaking down the types of jobs that have been affected, obviously servers and bartenders, uh, that makes up about 37.6% of this unemployment number that, that we had, right, that, that came out at 14.8%. I think another thing to realize, too, is there was a lot of economists that thought it would be worse. They were calling for a minimum of 15% to 20% unemployment. We're only in the 14s, which is still, you know, not good news, but it's better than expected, which is good. Um, one other thing I want you to realize, too, is when we look at some of these things, how quickly will they come back? Uh, temporary services should come back relatively easy. You know, doctor's offices, dentist visits, things like that, that stuff should be coming back. Manufacturing should be coming back pretty quickly. Uh, obviously, if people start to head back to work, we're going to need child care. Construction, we already know, I've been telling you on every one of these videos, we have just such a low inventory level. So I really think the construction uh, aspect of the housing market can really be one of the shiny beacons, one of the, one of the uh, influences on the economy to actually help lead uh, the recovery, which will be good. Um, you know, government jobs, okay, those are whatever they are, what they are. Uh, hotels over here, realize in the report, it actually says accommodations. That's hotels, uh, motels, short terms, a bunch of other things. It's just been combined into this, uh, which I called hotels, and then everything else. So uh, this gives you a decent breakdown of what's going on. The other thing I want you to realize, too, when we talk about the overall unemployment, like I said, is only 14.7%. That was, you know, lower than expected. But when they actually interviewed these people, 
90% of them said that their job loss, uh, they expected it to be temporary. So, so that's also good news. Uh, basically, when we look at, you know, what the projections are, uh, you know, this is basically over, you know, kind of the, <clears throat> you know, the Great Recession, 26, uh, 2006 to 2016 took nine years. You know, when we look at the rest of these, uh, you know, projections basically out of Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan, they're talking about something like maybe a two year impact that we're going to feel on the economy, but nothing like what we saw in the Great Depression or even in the Great Recession. So that's also good news. So anyway, if you have uh, questions about, you know, what is going on as far as how this information relates to the value of your home, what's going on in your neighborhood, I'd be more than happy to have that conversation with you. If you have 15 minutes, uh, then I have time to basically schedule a personal strategy session with you. Uh, and that's about it. So anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, who you choose to negotiate for you absolutely matters. Thanks so much and stay safe.